Hello, and welcome to the Mesh Tracker official documentation. I will show you the basics of the plugin application. So let's create our first interactive surface. The best choice would be the planner object, so I will create a regular plane. The selected surface should contain Mesh Collider. Let's create a material to make a good look for our surface. Select Mesh Tracker Opaque Shader to control object's height and make it compatible with the Mesh Tracker system. As you can see, the material has many properties that can be changed. I'm going to create a snow-like surface, so I will need some snow textures. I will choose some textures from the example folder that the Mesh Tracker contains. Assign your selected textures to the albedo and normal input, and you can play around with the shader settings. It's very similar to the Unity standard shader, so you shouldn't be lost. edit the surface height. You can increase and decrease vertex count by the tessellation slider. Also, the vertex count depends on your GPU performance. You are also able to update normals. This is a great effect to simulate mud and update normals on all different bars of your surface, but it takes much more performance. In my case, I don't need this to be enabled. Now, let's define our surface as an interactive surface. Let's add a mesh tracker system. So first of all, we are going to work with a shader type. That means we will use mostly GPU and shaders to process our interactive surface. As a starting workplace, we will need starting canvas. Starting canvas will be generated after game startup and will be assigned to the displacement map. It should look like this. We will use noisy example texture for now. If you would like to create a water-like surface, you can enable a repairable surface. We will always need Mesh Collider to make our surface interactive. You can edit Collider Location Offset if you are working with non-shader system type. But for now, we don't need any offset. Ok, so let's create our track source. I'm going to create basic sphere that will make some trails and tricks to the surface below. Mesh Tracker trick works on a chronological order of layers, so you can create as many layers as you wish for a specific surface type and so on. You can also it is an update function for intervals, or you can just call the function manually. I will create one layer for one specific surface. I will give it a name and a color. I would like to create a dynamic track size. That means when I resize my object, track size will be fixed to the object's locker scale. Let's see how it looks like in the editor. Enable show debug graphics. I just write distance and add a track graphic. Again, I will use one of the example tracks. You can also use brush type. 
brush allows you to edit track graphics, brightness and eye intensity. It's just track size multiplier and let's try it out. track system works very nicely and our sphere is making some trails to the surface. We can still edit material, make some changes to make it look even better. If your layer contains brush, you can edit track intensity through the brush brightness value and its transition speed. The track is now much more intensive. Trick layer contains conditions that you can freely change and set of your choice. You can set what should be minimal speed and maximal speed to correctly pass the layer. Mesh Tracker works on any shape, but you will have to create a specific track graphic to make a correct stamp. As an example, let's create a cube with a rectangular track graphic that I created in Photoshop. Assign some brush to control the track graphic. Also, make sure you have enabled copy transform rotation to fix the track rotation with the object rotation. As you can see, the track is rotating with the object and it's working as well. custom tracks with your mouse. Now I'm going to create my custom track in a track creator and make an easy scene with cursor driving. Track creator is an easy window application that allows you to create custom radial tracks of any type, especially created for mesh tracker plugin. This external tool works for Windows operating system only. You can change the radius, fade the track, invert colors, add circle and more. I have created my custom track and imported it to the project. Now just enable Raker's origin as a cursor and let's draw. As you can see, it's drawing OK, but I would like to increase the surface, so I'll increase the brightness number in my brush material for track graphic. And it's working again.
In Mesh Tracker, you can find many examples that can help you achieve the effect that you're looking for. For example, the snow example, where all vehicles contains four Mesh Trackers on their wheels, and each wheel has several layers. Each layer has a speed limitation to keep the Mesh Tracker quality. repairable as it's snowing. It's a really nice effect. When I hit play and stop the vehicle, you can see the tracker stopped as well because of the conditions. I will show you another example scene. It's a boat on a sea. The boat contains four trackers that track the surface and create fluid effect. Each track has an event. Fluid effect is an entire new object that contains new mesh tracker systems specifically for water surfaces. When I move with the boat, all trackers are working and fluid effect is making an artificial waves. This is very quick water simulation, it could be much more detailed if you would like to spend some more time creating track graphics and track layers. Thank you so much for your attention and if you have any questions or issues just contact me on my official website. Good luck!